What's up, everyone? Hope everyone is doing amazing today. So today we're going to speak about something special, and it's the proven concept strategy. So what is the proven concept strategy? And I really believe that the proven concept strategy it's, is what is going to make you succeed in dropshipping. So let's start this Google Doc right here. Proven concept strategy. Okay. Perfect. So what is the proven concept strategy? The proven concept strategy is making sure that each time that you test a product, you make sure that you test it. But if it doesn't work, you move on. And it's not as simple as it is because what most people do is they think they need to invest hundreds, if not thousands of dollars into one single product to make it a winner. Actually, the product itself will tell you if it's a winner or not. No matter if you put $1, $2, $100, or $1,000, if it doesn't sell from the start, it is not a winner. In some rare cases, it could happen that if you put a lot of money into a product that it could perform well in rare and rare cases, or those are exceptions, and we do not base our business on exception. So the proven concept strategy, first thing that you need to do is that uh, you need to find your product. So the moment you find your product, you make a list, a list of, let's say, 50 products. Make a list of 50 products. On those 50 products, what you want to do is you want to look at that list. After you made a list of 50 products, really important, don't choose the first product that you see. Make a list of 50 products, and after that, decide the top five products that you're going to test. That's what I do every single time. I make a list of a lot of products, and I sit down with my brother on the weekend, and we select the product that we're going to test. So, like I said, top five products. After that, you... Obviously, your website will be created because this is more focusing on the testing. Um, so I hope your website is already created. But if it's not, you will create a general store. So you will create a general store. Why a general store? It's because you need to understand that your goal is to test as many products as possible. And if and with doesn't matter the niche. So one time you can test a product related to car, the other time a product related to um, the pet niche, it doesn't matter. You just need to test. And by having a niche store or a one product store, it doesn't allow you to test as fast as us, the biggest dropshipper. Because if you really look at the biggest dropshippers, I'm not saying at brand owners, I'm saying dropshippers. If you look at the biggest dropshippers, they have general stores and they test massively. And that's what every dropshipper should aspire to, test massively and, how, and have multiple winners inside of a general store. So like I said, general store. What is the other thing? The other thing after that is uh, good, simple product description. So a good simple product description um, consists in just a simple product description with good reviews. Don't make it too complicated. Don't use complicated words. Use simple words. Make it as simple as possible. Don't put 25 hours into a product description. It's to prove the concept to see if the product is a winner or not. With that, we'll create a good and simple offer. Simple as that. You want to make a good and simple offer. Something that is believable. What is a good and simple offer? Something like a 50% off. But it needs to be believable or a buy one, get one free. If you're selling something that appears to be I don't know, $150 and you say buy one, get one free, it's not an, a good offer because when you say buy one, get one free, you normally do that with cheaper items. So it will devalue the item and the eyes of the customer. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to do something like more of 50% off. It will be more believable on smaller products. 
um, you can do something buy, like buy one, get one free. So make sure that every time you make something, you ask yourself, is it believable? Perfect, good and simple offer. After that, you want to test your product with our strategy that we have shown on previous videos with $25. If your product is not bringing you at least a sale with $25 spent, then you turn it off and you move on to the next. Simple as that. And obviously, you want to have to test with $25, you want to have good creatives. The creative, again, it's a proven concept. So what do I do? Is I try to look on TikTok for videos that explain properly what my product does, what the what problem does it resolve, or what kind of a wow factor it has. So I just take the same video and I launch them. A lot of people say, yeah, but Gilberto, like this is like stealing content. It's not... Guys, this is just to prove the concept of your product. After that, I see that it's making me sales consistently and I have a winning products in my hand. I transform those videos and maybe I will edit them or I will hire an influencer to make videos about the product. So this is just to prove the concept. You cannot hire an influencer. You cannot hire someone on Fiverr for every product that, that we test. Uh, me and my brother, we test dozens of products every single day. Let's say we test 10 products. And to make a video uh, on Fiverr with an influencer, it's $50. First of all, it will take like at least a week to receive the product, make the video, make everything. So a week, you just lost a week right there. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is that it takes $50. Let's say you test 10 products. That's $500 worth of you know, investment just on product that could maybe not work. This is not smart. You want to make sure that your product is proven to work with already content that is already existing on the TikTok platform. So test it with $25 with good and simple creative. And again, how do you know if it's a good and simple creative? You want to look at the creative. You want to see, okay, is it spammy? Do I have like a lot of like things that is annoying text that doesn't look good. It's spammy, perfect, I don't use it. Is, okay, I have a video with text, but it makes it more interactive. Oh, perfect. So what does that mean? It means that I will take that video because it makes me more, you know, interested with the text and everything. It, it makes it more fun. Or no, there's no text, but it, it explains properly the video. Or, oh, there's no text, but the video is blurry. So I will not touch it. So have common sense, have common sense. Like I said, I have multiple people that I know that I told them, okay, if that is you, if this is you, will you buy on your store? If this is you, will you buy based on the creative that you have? And a lot of people will say no. A lot of people say no. So why are you trying to sell something that yourself will basically not purchase Um at all or well not purchase because the products that you sell it's for a specific kind of audience but what i mean by that is like why are you trying to sell on a platform that you will not purchase yourself or why are you trying to make people convert with a video that you will not like yourself this is just this is just not good guys so good creative test it so like i said you find 50 products you select the top five products after that, you create a general store. You make a good, simple product description, not too complicated, with a few reviews and a nice short description that goes straight to the point, really simple, not complicated word. You you make a good, simple offer that is believable with your products. You test with $25 with good, simple creative that you take from TikTok that are already existing and boom, doesn't work, you move on to the next. You redo this again and again and again and again. And this is how you will succeed. You know what's the biggest mistake of all the dropshippers? Is the first product that they see, they want to test it. Or they want to put five hours into a product description. They want to put five hours into creating 500 different videos. That's not how you prove that your product works. You want to make things 
quick and simple. And after that, the product works, you want to make everything, everything as professional as possible. If you want to put five hours into your product description, great, do it. If you want to hire someone to make better video, great, do it. But you need the proof of concept. You need to make sure that this product works. And it's not by investing a lot of money because there's so many products out there. So keep it a good, simple, sweet, straight to the point. As And when you have that winner, then put as much time as you need because now you have a winner. So guys, please don't overspend. I, Me and my brother, we did that mistake. We, we got in love with a product that, you know, back then, a few years ago, we got in love with a product that wasn't really working. We spent dozens and dozens of dollars, you know, probably like close to 30K in one product, something like this. And this product wasn't selling. And after that, when we understood the concept that it's all about testing consistently and keeping things simple, we just have been successful consistently. So like I said, I will repeat it again, just to make sure, find 50 products. On the top 50 products, um, choose the top five. Create a general store. Make good, simple product description. Make a good, simple, and believable offer. Test with $25, and each, each test needs to be with good creative that will make you, let's say, feel a certain way. That is straight to the point. That is not too long. Obviously, if your product needs more, you know, uh, information, it could be a little bit longer, but short form content is what normally works best on TikTok. But that's what I, that's what I have in my mind. Every time that I test a product, I want to do it fast, do it simple and with a little budget. That's it. Guys, I'm the first one when I have a winning product that I'm willing to spend thousands of dollars thousand of a thousand of dollars when I have a winning product to make sure that I make as much money as possible from that winning product. But before I find that winning product, I do not spend an extra dime over $25. And I do not spend more than 30 minutes to one hour to find those videos and also do the product description. I keep things short and sweet. And do not forget please subscribe, leave a comment, will help us tremendously. We'll make more videos about different topics that you guys are asking me. And um, under the description, we have an affiliate link with Shopify for $1 for three months. So you will pay for and Shopify $1 per month during three months. After that, I think it's a basic plan of 25 bucks or something like this. But for three months, you will pay $1 on Shopify. So I suggest you to get uh, that affiliate link if you want to save as much money as possible. And also, we have an affiliate link with TikTok that for each dollar that you invest uh, into ads, they will match it. They will match it on cre in credit. So if you spend $25, they will give you $25 in credit. If you spend $50, they will uh, give you $50 in credit, up to $1,500. So if you spend $1,500, they will give you 1500 in credit. That's amazing. $3,000 worth of testing. Do you know how much product you can test with that? Let's calculate it just right now. Let, let's do let's do it right now. Calculator. Let's do calculator right here. 3000. Let's say you test with 25 bucks. That's 120 products. That's more than enough to find a few winners right there if you have the right strategy, if you have our right strategy. Last week, we had a student that find his first winner under 35 products and another one this week under 12 products. Guys, just follow our strategies to, as we said, and you guys are going to be successful. Don't forget to leave a comment. We'll help us tremendously and wish you all an amazing rest of your day. Peace out. Take care.